Word Nation. We are reaching the world for Christ. You know, it is our desire, as I've said many times in the past, I believe the name reveals the nature. And Heart for the World Christian Center, we have a heart for the world. We have a heart for the people of God. We have a heart to reach more people of God. And so I encourage you to come along with us in our journey. I encourage you to partner with us, if you will, along the way. And uh, thank you once again, and good morning each and every one of you. Thank you once again for being a part of our 7 for 7. Let's go to the throne. Heavenly Father, Lord, we praise you. Lord, we thank you for your grace, for your mercy. I ask, God, that you would move on our behalf. I thank you, Lord, that you are shifting and moving and working on our behalf. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Go with me to 1 Timothy 4, verse 15. It says, Meditate, meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them that thy profiting may appear to all. God is wanting us, if you will, to meditate upon his word. We found out that in, in Joshua 1 and 8, if we meditate upon God's word night and day, if you will, that God would give us good success, right? Well, God wants us to not only meditate on his word, but he wants us to give ourselves. You know, there's a song that says, I give myself away that, that you know, you might use me. And we really need to have that attitude. I need to give myself away to the Lord that he might use me. I need to give myself away that he could use me in any and every dimension that he chooses. Amen. And when we do that, we begin to shift and move, if you will, in ways that will glorify the Lord. You know, we begin to realize that we've been bought with a price, that we don't belong to ourselves. You know what I'm saying? And the reality is, is that when we give ourselves away, we want all to see that, um, that we belong to the Lord. Listen to this in Psalms 34 too. It says, my soul will make it boast in the Lord. The humble will hear of it and rejoice, right? God wants us to boast. God wants us to be joyful. God wants us to, to magnify him, in, in essence, lifting him up. How we live our life makes the difference. How we walk, how we talk makes a difference. You know, I remember one time many, many years ago, many years ago, over 20 years ago, I remember one time I went to the store and 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 at that moment, I didn't make a good representation. You know, the store was closing in 15 minutes. I knew exactly what I needed to get. And I, you know, but there was someone there at the store that wanted to close early. And, and, and they had stopped a bunch of people from coming in because they wanted to leave. And I said, the store doesn't close until such and such time. And, and then they snatched the sign off the wall. And I did not represent the king well in that moment. You know, and, 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 and for years after that, every time I would see that person, I would come up and I would bless them bless them with words of encouragement. First, I would just apologize because I represent, I re realized that I didn't represent myself, but I represented the king. And I had to, I had to, in every dimension, lift him up. And in everywhere I turn, I needed to, I needed to represent the king as it is in Romans 12 and 1. It says, um, it says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. That is our reasonable service. That's the least that we should do. Amen. It's not about us, but it's all about him. And it's, it, you know, you know, it's, it's, it's like this. When you give, you give because you want to. It's not that somebody took or that you were compelled, but you chose to give your life away. You chose to live your life in such a way that you are giving it, giving it unto God. And everywhere you go, you, you, you want to represent the king. You want your life to be used of the Lord. Amen. But too many times we have moments where we want to put it on pause or we want to say, well, wait a minute, let me handle this just for a moment. And then, Lord, I, you know, I've heard people, people say, well, then I'll repent afterwards. No, that's that's that that's not really giving yourself away. That's not yielding to the spirit of God. You know, that's somebody who's conveniently doing whatever. And you know what? We have to please God. 
not even ourselves. We have to please God. And, and Matthew 6.33 says, if, we, if you seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness, he'll add all these things unto you. Let me tell you something. If we want to see ourselves succeed, if we want to see ourselves, then the best thing that we can do is, pers is, is, is to seek the Lord, to give ourselves to him by seeking the Lord. He's given us the gift of salvation and, 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 and he's given us faith, amen, whereby we can live. But most of us don't live by the faith that we got saved by, right? And we have to have faith enough in God that we can give our life to him and know that the Father knows best for us and that he wants to bless us in such a way, if you will, that we could be a representative and that others will want what he has put in us, amen, that others will see that we're living the blessed life, amen. And 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 even in that, you know, it comes down to once you begin to, you know, in, as you're living that blessed life, you have to pass the money test. What's pass the money test? Do you pass the money? Can you can you give, you know, your substance to the Lord, amen? Because if, if you are willing to give your life, won't you give your substance? Amen. But too many times the devil tries to trip us up because we begin to um, not give unto the Lord, starting with ourself and then with our resources. So I need you to, I need you to shift the dynamic because Adam and Eve, they were walking in the presence of God and it was just them and God and they were be able to be naked and not ashamed, if you will. And it wasn't until sin came in that they, that they felt the need to cover up or that they felt the need that they were lacking something, right? But when we listen to the right voices, when we listen to what God is saying, if you will, then we are willingly giving ourselves away. We're willingly yielding to the Lord. And so I'm asking you today to look through your life. And if there's any area in your life that you are not yielded, ask God for strength. Ask God for wisdom. Get in the word, let the word get in you. But ask God to show you in the word where he can direct you to be an overcomer in that area. Well, I'll see you tomorrow at 7 for 7. Be blessed.